Hey everybody, it's Ron here from Tunnel Vision TV and today I'm going to show you guys how to create some realistic motion blur using After Effects. Right, so I'm using After Effects CS6 and I'm just going to import a clip quickly. And there we go. And if I drag this into a new composition, you'll see that I shot this using quite a high shutter speed. I think it was about 250 if, um, if I remember correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some motion blur to the car. And a really easy way to do this is use the effect Time Warp. So go to Effects and just type in Time Warp and then drag that onto your clip. And then basically what you want to do is you want to set the speed to 100 because we don't really want to change the speed of that clip. And then go down, click on Enable Motion Blur and then change this to Automatic. And then I'm going to use the 180 degree angle for the shutter samples. Um, so I'm just going to quickly RAM preview this. Alright, so I'm not going to RAM preview the whole section, but as you can see, it's looking much better. Um, I know you get some third-party plugins that will do this for you as well, but obviously this comes with After Effects, it's free. Uh, well, it's, it comes with After Effects and After Effects is not free. But as you can see, we do get some artifacts. Um, if I scrub through here, you can see the um, the road is actually getting blurred here as well. And the easy way to fix that will be just to duplicate your footage. Um, let's remove Time Warp from the top layer and then just draw a quick mask around this section. Um, and then maybe just, maybe let's feather that a bit, maybe about 10. And that will get rid of some of the artifacts if that happens. Now also a good way um, to use this plugin is if you're doing some 3D work and you've rendered like a 3D scene that you're going to incorporate into your uh, live action footage, you can use this plugin to create some motion blur on your 3D objects um, to match your, your actual live action footage, which I think is really, really cool. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. If you like it, please subscribe if you want to see more. And you can follow me on Twitter, that's R-U-A-N-L-O-T-T-E-R. -T -T -E see you guys next time.